Hello everybody, this is Rudra Pradhan here. Welcome to Engineering Econometrics. Today, we will start with a new concept that is on count data and discrete modeling. We have al already discussed various types of econometric modeling starting with linearity structure, nonlinearity structure, cross sectional kind of modeling, time series kind of you know, modeling and within time series modeling we have discussed various types of you know structures starting with linearity to nonlinearity, simple structure to volatility modeling and we have also covered the concept called as a penal data modeling where we use actually time series structure and cross sectional structure and that too we have covered couple of items under the penal data modeling like pool data structure, then uh, fixed effect models, random effect model, generalized methods of, methods of moments. Uh, likewise, we have you know discuss you know various aspects of you know engineering econometrics starting with simple to complex and with the lots of variety, lots of flexibility depending upon the uh, type of you know engineering problems and the kind of you know, requirement may be organizational requirement, may be corporate requirement, may be industrial requirements. So, technically we have highlighted couple of you know uh, engineering econometrics tools through which we can solve some of the problems depending upon the particular requirements, may be the industrial uh, aspects or kind of you know environmental aspects. Uh, you know typically you know it depends upon the type of you know engineering problems. Whatever we have discussed already, uh, basically the choice of the technique and the kind of you know models which you like to use or we like to deploy to solve some of the engineering problems. Uh, one, one thing is very you know clear and that is very important. So, far as a choice of the modeling is concerned to, uh, to uh, select a particular model for solving a particular engineering problem. So, the idea is that you know you should know the kind of you know, uh, you know data structure. So, that means over and above whatever types of you know problems we are going to discuss and the kind of you know models which you like to pick up exclusively depends upon the types of you know data sometimes. For instance, we have in the first instance we have three types of you know structure that is what called you know a cross sectional structure time series structure and panel structure. So, corresponding to these structures, so we have called as you know cross sectional data, we have time series data, we have pool data and we have panel data. While solving any problems through any models, of course, we have to pick up a problems depending upon the problems requirement and the kind of you know engineering requirement, but still sometimes the choice of a particular model is a data driven. If for instance, if the time series data is not available, so you cannot use time series modeling. Similarly, if the data is not with respect to both time series and cross sectional type, you cannot deploy pool data or panel data modeling. So, that means, what I like to you know bring here it is the type of data sometimes very vital that to choice of a particular technique and so far as the particular problem is concerned. The problem is such a nature where you have to strictly follow a particular technique no other techniques can help to solve that problem. So, one instance the choice of technique that to with respect to problem specific and on the other side it is the choice of technique 
with respect to data structure. So, where your data is actually behaving time series, then you can simply deploy you know time series modeling. If the data is panel kind of panel structures, you can you know apply panel data modeling. Or if the data is simply cross sectional, then you can you know use simple cross sectional modeling. So, likewise, we have you know lots of you know choice, lots of variety. You can pick up any technique corresponding to the data structures and corresponding to the problem requirement and then as usual the procedures are you know more or less same. Somewhere we use complex kind of you know tools, sometimes uh, somewhere we use actually simple kind of you know structure. Ultimately the processing is just more or less actually similar. So, we have to just you know pick up the problem, set the objective, build the hypothesis, then uh, you know build the model and then you know with the help of the data and the choice of techniques you have to estimate the model and after receiving the estimated you know outcome. So, we have to go through lots of you know diagnostics and then we come with a kind of you know model which should be very solid one with respect to the kind of you know diagnostics and sometimes we use robust uh, robustness then we come with a kind of you know structure where the model will be perfectly fit to analyze the particular you know engineering problem. On the top of this we like to bring a situation now which is slightly different compared to whatever we have discussed so far as types of you know models that too with respect to the problems and the kind of you know data is concerned. In a kind of an analytics framework, we may have a structure of you know statistical kind and we have a structure like you know ma mathematical kind. So, so far as mathematical optimization is concerned, so there is a concept called as you know integer programming. If there is no such restriction, then you can optimize a particular problem and look for the values of the decision variable and then that values of the decision variable can you know solve the problems as per the decision making is concerned. But when we put the restriction that you know the values of the decision variable will be integer types, then the problem is not so simple. So, you have to continuously monitor till you get the values of the decision variable which is integer type and that values of the decision variable can help to solve the engineering problems and as per the decision making requirement. In the econometrics, we have the similar kind of you know, flaw. Till now whatever we have discussed, whatever models we have discussed, whatever problems we have connected to simplify or to analyze, we have no such restrictions about the kind of you know you know integer types of you know situation. For instance, all these you know discussions or all these problems which you have highlighted is a data driven where we have no such restriction about the types of you know data, whether it is a time series, whether it is a cross sectional and whether it is a kind of you know pool or you know panel. But bringing the structure of you know time series, cross sectional, pool and panel is a one kind of you know flow. The other flow is that you know the kind of you know information within the kind of you know uh, a particular structure, where the information may be numeric in nature or it may be qualitative in nature. So, so we have already discussed couple of you know problems or couple of models relating to the type of you know data that to information behind the data structure. We have no issue about the time series or cross sectional or you know pool or panel, but what is more important in the second structure is the type of you know information relating to the particular you know variables. So, that information may be typically you know 
qualitative in nature or sometimes it may be completely numeric in nature. If the particular information for a particular variable is completely numerical, so most of the problems is very straightforward and you can analyze without any difficulty. Of course, sometimes we can do the transformation, do the restructuring. So, it is as per the requirement of the problems or to bring the best, but here the situation is different. Sometimes the information by default will be qualitative in nature. Of course, we have already discussed couple of models you know in the similar angle. For instance, the classic example is the dummy modeling where we have used uh, we, we use actually linear probability models or uh, otherwise it is called as a binary choice models. Then we have discussed logit model, we have discussed probit model where the kind of you know structure is actually means is dummy type that means the variables which is actually uh, categorical in nature or sometimes we call as you know binary in nature, sometimes we call, call as you know, uh, uh, you know qualitative in nature. So, uh, you know we have already discussed you know several types of you know problems and uh, the type of you know models. For instance, if you start with the binary choice model, then uh, there are two things uh, uh, you know means there are two requirements altogether. First requirement is the uh, independent variable which is qualitative in nature and that to information must be in between 0 to 1 and we have no such restriction on the independent variables. That is what the model is about the linear probability model or binary choice model and now it is up to you where you can actually use these models and oh, oh, you know what are the requirements for this and what type of an engineering problems you to apply. Similarly, in the case of you know logit model it is actually slightly similar, but little bit different because both logit model and probit model are nonlinear in character compared to the linear probability model. So, here we have the similar kind of you know, structure, the dependent variable will be a dummy type that is categorical in nature or qualitative in nature, where we have no such restriction on independent variables. However, if you compare with linear probability model or binary choice model, the uh, you know in the case of you know logit model and probit model. So, it is the probability value which will bring the functional form and compared to linear probability models where the p value will be that is the probability value which will be in between 0 to 1 that is why it is called as you know binary choice model. But in the case of you know logit model and probit model there is no such restriction of course, the uh, information will be qualitative like the binary choice model and uh, again it exclusively represented by the probability and uh, what is actually happening here is the probability value will not uh, you know within the two extremes where the binary choice model you know uh, you know express in the, it is the case where the probability values will be in between 0 to 1 and that is what the differentiating point between logit and probit that to with you know a binary choice model. So, that means the probability values will be in between 0 to 1. So, that means here technically if it is in between 0 to 1 uh, then technically the values of the probability will be fractional type like 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4 and so on because probability value cannot actually exceed 1 and cannot be against you know in between you know say means basically it will be in between 0 to 1. So, it will not be this side or it will not be that side. So, it will be in a kind of you know structure like this. So, you have to bring that structure and then apply these models. So, here there is no such restriction, but only restriction is p value will be in between 0 to 1. So, that means completely the information must be fractional type. Now, we are discussing two different situations. In one situation, we need dependent variable qualitative in nature that to the classification will be 0 to 1. The, pro the corresponding problems may be like you know yes, no, male, female something like that. 
in other situations it is in between actually 0 to 1 where we can deploy logit model and probit model and the information for this you know logit model and probit model that two for the dependent variable is again qualitative in nature and not two extremes between 0 and 1 it is you know between 0 to 1 only. So, like you know 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4 and so on. So, now that is how you know so far as you know data structuring concerns we use group data in the case of you know logit model and probit model and we use individual data in the case of you know linear probability model. And by the way we have already discussed uh, you know all these models with various examples and the kind of you know uh, kind of you know problems and structures and we are in a comfortable position to know what is exactly binary model binary choice model what is exactly logit model what is exactly probit model and where you have to apply how to apply how to bring the estimated output and how to interpret and then how we can actually use as a decision making tool now coming to this you know uh, lectures where we have similar kind of you know flow and the flow is actually with respect to count data and discrete modeling. It is it is in the similar kind of you know basket little bit you know means we have a let us say we have a three different uh, structure altogether simple you know structures where any kind of you know modeling can be used without any restriction on data. You may use time series data, you may use cross sectional data, you can use pool data, you can use panel data, but second level of you know st uh, modeling structure will be where we have some kind of you know restriction that to either with the you know, dependent variables or with respect to independent variable or with respect to both dependent variable and independent variable. If it is with respect to only independent variable that is called as a dummy independent modeling and at least one of the independent variable will be qualitative in nature and where we have no such restriction whether the kind of you know, information will be 0 1 or 1 by 2 1 by 3 something like that. But it will be somehow you know uh, uh, classified in a some you know structure so that you know it can be a apply as per the modeling requirement. But another kind of you know, structure is the dummy depend dependent modeling where we have again two different uh, you know setups. In the first setups the dependent variable will be qualitative and that two information will be in between 0 to 1 only either 0 or 1 and the second structure will be again the information relating to dependent variable will be qualitative in nature and that two the information will not 0 to 1 it will be in between 0 to 1. So, that means exclusively fractional type. Now, the third layers of the models will be slightly complex and you know very exceptional kind of in you know, a situation. Again, we may not have issue about the kind of you know dependent variable and independent variable, but it is the variables that to what information will be you know uh, information will be the differentiating factors. That means, we have discussed the dependent variable structure, independent variable structure that to dummy types and the kind of you know fractional type and 0 1 type. Now, this is the kind of you know model where we declare as you know count data and discrete modeling where the variable informations will be exclusively integer type. So, that is how the counting is there. So, that means, it is again very top class kind of you know data structures and very restricted kind of you know environment where we can apply this kind of you know modeling. Because this kind of you know modeling very strictly apply to those situations where the data structure is actually like you know count data and kind of you know discrete data. So, so obviously, we like to know what is exactly the concept count data and the discrete data then we will follow the count data and discrete data modeling. So, that means, this particular lecture exclusively meant for 
regression modeling with count data only, count data and you know the kind of you know discrete data, which is slightly different you know from the other modeling clusters, where we have used without any restriction and again this second cluster there is some restriction with dependent variable and independent variable again two layers of you know restriction to the dependent variables. That is what the you know uh, different kind of you know uh, engineering econometrics classifications. So, far as you know uh, econometrics models are concerned. So, now this is a kind of you know situations where we have to understand first count data that is the and, and, and the discrete data and then we like to understand or we like to know what kind of you know models you have to bring in those situation that is very important here. So, that means the problem understanding the type of you know data and the selection of you know models again. So, it is basically regression modeling with the count data or uh, in other words it is called as a count data modeling. So, let us start with you know understanding the count data then we will go through the uh, various models relating to count data and then we connect some of the examples related to count data modeling where we can apply count data modeling because the data specification is count data type. So, that means, it is a very very data you know data driven techniques altogether. So, problem is very specialized in character it may be any engineering problems, but it is it is completely different than other types of you know uh, econometric modeling which we have already discussed and uh, most important is that you know we have no uh, you know big issue relating to this you know time series cross sectional pool and panel, but here one of the biggest you know issue is the kind of you know information lying in the data that to you know the informations uh, you know for a particular you know variables. So, that is what the big deal. So, let us let us understand what is that deal and then we will go to this you know a model and then we can connect with some of the application relating to this you know count data modeling. So, the first understanding is uh, you know about the you know, uh, so that means technically we call as you know regression modeling with count data or fitting models with count data. You can uh, do whatever you like. So we 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 have two objectives here, and the basic objective is to understand the count data and the kind of you know, discrete data, and then uh, we second objective is to know the various models relating to count data and you know uh, discrete data. And then the third objective is what are the areas or you know what are the application through which we can use count data modeling and provided the data should be count data in character right. So, the, these are the three objectives through which we can actually st start the game about the count data modeling or fitting the models with count data. So, obviously, the high uh, you know some of these uh, highlights will be to understand the discrete data, count data and there is a concept called as a duration data and models of discrete and count data, uh, hazard bus duration models and then the structure about the parametric and non-parametric you know regression models. So, now we start with the first understanding the count data. So, al already I have you know uh, you know highlighted this concept. So, once again uh, you know or to bring the notice uh, about the count data uh, that you know count data is a type of you know uh, data which is a specialized in character in which observations can take only non negative integer values that is what the actually uh, biggest you know restriction non negative integer values. So, it is a it is the integer values and ag again it is called as you know non negativity means uh, exclusively in a kind of an optimization environment uh, you know in a kind of an analytic frameworks. So, where it is a, a called as you know integer programming. So, in the integer programming problems we have two different requirements and you know restriction the values of the decision variable will be positive in nature that is what the non negativity 
and the values of the decision variable will be integer types that means it is it it will be only 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and something like that. The fractional values are not actually allowed there. So, same concept we are just bringing here. So, that means they are actually the problem is there we are optimizing the situation and looking for the values of the decision variable where the values will be integer type and non-negative in character then you can apply and analyze the situation. But here the situation is slightly different and uh, what is happening here? We are going in a kind of you know uh, data driven to model uh, or, you know in the kind of an integer programming it is a model to values of the decision variables. So, here we like to start with you know the concept called as you know uh, on data and then fit the model and then uh, uh, you know use this model for the uh, you know problem requirement. So, basically count data is a type of data in which observations can take only non-negative integer values like you know 0, 1, 2 and so on and these integers you know arise from counting rather than ranking that is very important. So, it is only counting. So, number of plots, number of deaths, a, a, a number of you know uh, females, a, a number of you know uh, kind of you know accidents, number of injuries. So, these are the uh, you know kind of you know uh, items where we we bring the concept called as you know count data. It is not the question of ranking. A ranking means you know it is the, the degree of movement for instance you know very good, good, best like this kind of you know things. It is a slightly you know uh, different with respect to counting. So, uh, so it is a qual you know uh, exactly we cannot call it is a qualitative in nature, but the structuring of the data is slightly different compared to the a uh, kind of you know ranking. So, ranking by default will make you you know difference about the data points or the understanding of the variable suffrage information is concerned. For instance, uh, good very good. Uh, so, there is a difference actually that is the degree of difference and uh, exactly to quantify the difference is very difficult, but we can recognize that there is a difference. But what is the beauty of the count data that you know it can exactly quantify the particular you know difference. So, it is not ranking, but it is the kind of you know clustering where you know we like to count you know uh, in numbers only and that numbers should be integer types. When we count numbers it cannot be you know uh, negative of course, you know the expression may be starts with negative, but reporting will be a uh, reporting will be in numbers only and that too with it you know two restrictions. One restriction is the uh, the values will be positive in character and the second one is the it is exclusively integer type. So, no fractional will be allowed here. So, for instance, uh, you know why not for, you know uh, the obvi obvious question is that why not. Uh, so, for instance, let us say uh, you know a number of deaths is a kind of an you know, example. So, half of the depth cannot be you know uh, means it has no meaning at all. Uh, so, half death, half accident. So, this is these are all not actually you know uh, meaningful kind of you know information or meaningful kind of you know, representation. So, if, if you instead of saying you know half a half injury, so you can better to say number of injury instead of in you know, half death you can say that you know number of deaths. So, half death there, there is you no know, such you know meaningful inter, uh, representation. So, that means technically you need lots of you know adjustment and understanding then structuring uh, just to bring the kind of you know information that to declare as the count data and then use this count data for any kind of you know, modeling and uh, that to what we call as you know count data modeling and discrete data modeling. As per the you know discussion what we have already highlighted count data is slightly distinct from you know binary data like we, which I have already highlighted in the case of you know linear probability model and binary choice model the, there the requirement is actually the information should be qualitative in nature, but we transfer into some coding and that coding must be 0 1 interval only either 0 or 1. So, it is not in between. So, that means, count data exclusively different from binary data first instance 
and second again count data is different from the ordinal data where we need some kind of you know ranking ok. So, like you know uh, good better base something like that you know uh, high low uh, very high very low these are all different kind of you know labeling and uh, through which ranking and some kind of you know, scaling will do. But count data is uh, you know you know is uh, something different, but it is a very dangerous kind of you know uh, situation where you have to de deploy or you know use uh, you know then uh, I mean and that to actually as per the requirement. So, statistically and then analyze the situation. So, so what is actually important here just to understand the count data and bring the difference of count data with respect to various other types of you know data starting with the categorical data, qualitative data and of course, here there is you know such you know issue with respect to time series cross sectional and you know, panel data, but it is the information which can make the difference and that to the a difference with respect to models and the kind of analysis, the kind of structuring. So, that is very important here. So, in so we will stop here in the next lectures, we will start from here to connect various models relating to count data and you know discrete data. Thank you very much, have a nice day.